Welcome, welcome to Hangman Tarot. I am Hangman Tarot. My name is Jordan. We are going to get started with the celebrity reading in just a minute. Um, before we start, please go ahead, hit subscribe, click the bell. Any information at the end of this reading will be at the end of this reading. Excuse me. Um, also, what else do we have? Um, any information on Hangman Tarot is going to be at the end, so stay tuned for that and don't hesitate to click on the next reading that does pop up at the end of this video. All right, so we are going to get into our celebrity. Oh, let's see who we have. All right, here we go. I have so many songs in my head right now. Okay, um, we are going to be doing Pedro. Pascal, Pascal, he was born Wednesday, April 2nd, 1975. He looks really young for 1975. That's amazing. Um, in Chile, his sun signs in Aries, his moon sign is a Capricorn. And then his birth path is a four. And then a little bit about Pedro is he was born Pedro Pascal. And let's see, his family is of a uh, French descent and basically he's an actor. Okay. So we're doing an actor. I have no idea. Anyway. Okay. So here we go. We are going to get into this reading. This is an actor. Um, I'm trying to, I don't like to share too much just because I don't like to get deep diving into their stuff. Um, so basically his family is partial French descent and then after he was born, his family was actually granted political dictatorship. And he was raised in San Antonio, Texas, Orange County, California. And he's lived in New York City since 93. He studied acting in the Orange County High School of Arts and New York University. And his career, he's appeared in several TV series, including Buffy the Vampire and The Good Wife and Graceland. He has also appeared in the third season of Homeland beginning in that was in September of 2013. Okay, so let's get into this reading. I'm just doing a general. So we're going to start off with where he is currently and go over also that oracle reading and energy. Okay. okay. With the oracle energy, I'm just receiving, he's welcoming a new start. There's a little bit of resistance. I feel like... Um, there's somebody in the situation or he is dealing with something unrealistic. So there's intense emotion here. Um, this could be, this could just be in love, within love, within a connection. This could also be within a relationship or just a reaction or a response to the situation. But I feel like it's almost like there's a need for him to be in a place where he's able to realize that I have to discard the old stuff in order to get into a new place for this new start. So I feel like anything discarded, um, is going to have to be taken care of as far as moving into this new start. Cause yeah, it is, it'll be a two of cups once he gets into that place. So this is currently something that he is dealing with. It hasn't been expressed though. So this person probably is not aware or doesn't understand, or it's just the intensity of it though. Makes me feel like this person would know. And it's not forceful. I feel like it's karmic. I feel like it's a mirrored situation. Um, this could be like an ongoing thing, or this could be something again, that this person's just not aware it has happened yet. So just pairing up with somebody, um, and that would definitely be this new start, but he's trying to, he's going to have to, or he is in the process of releasing all this old other shit so that he can get into a place where he is comfortable enough to get back into this flow of this connection, whatever that is. Let's find out a little bit more here. Yeah, there's a, any truth or information on it is very inspirational as far as this connection goes. So this connection is inspiring. There's a lot of warmth, a lot of light, and a lot, a lot of heart that will go into it. So it is a good energy connection. I do feel like, again, I think that this person just is not aware how inspired they are. That he may be to be in some kind of a connection or pair up for something as far as um, maybe some sort of a love connection. Let's get into what was going on in the past that has anything to do with this. So we're going to find out a little bit more about it. This person could be a water sign. Could be earth sign. Okay. This 
so there is a lot of change that was going on in the past and just feeling like almost like a lot of competition or there was a contest, um, just uh, comparing himself or comparing himself to something that is not quite, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like he just knows how to be himself, but in the past there was a time or a place in which he just wasn't being himself in a comparison of another person. Okay. And this is all surrounding a situation and experience that had a lot of options or choices here. And it was, it was definitely something that maybe he didn't want to go around and round on. He didn't want to make that, you know, his fortune. He didn't, I mean, it didn't, it didn't become his fortune because he very much got into a place of anything. Yeah. Okay. Give me a minute. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, because I feel like he, I mean, this would have exhausted him to a certain point because this is just, it was not his lucky day. I mean, it was just wasn't in the cards for him when it comes to this comparison, this feeling competitive, feeling um, like this was a contest. So I think even though he still felt maybe a little bit weird in this space, I feel like there definitely was something here he was comparing himself to. But I feel like he understands what matters in the contest. I mean, the true winner is eventually given, but this is just not the winner. Whoever's the best or, you know, wins, wins the prize. Um, I just feel like whoever's most themselves is the truest winner. And I feel like that that's in his energy, especially in the past year. And this had to, had to do with um, some sort of an option or choices somebody might've been making. So, I mean, the, the reliability, the safety, the physical of it, I just, I feel like externally, nothing really mattered, especially when it came to, you know, feeling lucky about it or unlucky about it. Cause he really got into a space in which he kind of just hung out and resist, you know, didn't resist uh, to a surrender of letting go and allowing this to unfold the way that it would unfold. So he just let go of that power and that just really opened up that heart and opened up that light. So that put him in a place again, where he's currently dealing with um, a love connection that may or may not be aware to the other person. Okay, so let's find out. Sorry, that just was killing killing me. I'm just like, what is going on here? Okay. Got the cards already fell. Okay, so anything upcoming? There's a lot of fear in this energy um, surrounding kind of taking a leap, of t a leap of faith, but not really wanting to take that leap of faith. So he might have already taken the leap of faith, but he hasn't quite seen the, you know, the progress of it or kind of the consequences or the outcome of the situation. Um, he, this is definitely surrounding something of bringing something whole or bringing something together, change, connection, um, some sort of a choice that he has made. And again, anything really rooting underneath the whole situation is the fact that there's like this helpless feeling, almost like, am I stuck here? Am I, can I, can I help at all here? Just holding, it's almost like holding energetically a hand out to help. And it's just like, I don't know if I'm able to. Um, so I just, I feel like the fear here is something that he's trying, he'll be making peace with. So any fear he has surrounding the situation or with this person or moving forward and not feeling like he can't help or, you know, moving forward and not feeling like he's completely blind walking into whatever he's walking into. Again, I just, I think that the, this has a lot to do with any kind of that relationship that we're talking about. I just feel like he's kind of imagined it to be something specific and it's not really kind of like panning out in the way that he thought. So it's really trying to put him in a place of, you know, understanding why this is existing in the way that it's, you know, kind of existing. So, and just trying to make peace with that. So again, anything rooted from it is this again, could be something that he has no control over just really needing to add to that, um, letting go and just surrendering to the whole situation or the experience at hand. So again, it's not unwelcomed. It is welcomed. It is already in process. And this is again, upcoming within the next month or so. Um, yeah, I don't feel like by the ending of this month, I don't feel like he'll be in that place anymore. I don't, I think he's going to just choose the unknown and it's just going to go where it goes. All right. Whatever any of that means, I'm going to get out of here. Yes, I have them on my list, actually. Um, I just put them on my list. 
All right, please go ahead, hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot if you would. Please and thank you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you do not miss anything. Also, at the end of this reading, a video will pop up right about now. Click on it and go check it out if you would. Share, like, and follow on your social media, as well as checking out my social media. And you can get a hold of me there, or you can leave a comment in the comment section. Um, either way, click wherever you'd like. I will see you all later. I'm going to get out of here. I'll be back with a few more readings. See you.